James, what can you bring to the position that Jim can't, would you say? <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> well, my first answer was important, obviously, but, uh, uh, you know, what, what do I say? Where, where do I start? Where do I go? Um, yeah, interesting times. Interesting times and, and uh, really looking forward to the Dublin Tyrone match at the weekend. Yes, no, we all are. We all are. We all are. You're obviously the favourite for the job at the moment. Are you interested? <laughs> I rang Joe on the way up and threatened him not to be at me about asking a question. But here we go, straight away. Only joking. Um, what was the question? Are you interested, or have you made up your mind? On the Mayo position? Yeah. No. You haven't made up your mind, or you're not interested? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have an answer prepared. Right, will, okay. I, will I go with it? No. He does have an answer prepared, I heard it. Um, <laughs> Basically, where it is is, yeah. is um, my position, and I'll, I'll try and give it as without um, giving too much away and or, or whatever. But um, the male position has, has come available. Obviously, Stephen Rochford. It's 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 very hot off the pan. There's you know the Mayo County Board have set up um, a committee to 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 look into the position. Um, I, I remember when I when I I moved away in 2014. And straight away, those people um, talking about the position or, or who would go for it or whatever. And, and um, I, I just thought, Jesus Christ, could they not give us a bit of space and, and, and give people a bit of space? You know, it, it, that's only ended. Can they just, you know, let the process happen and let, let things go through? So um, that's, what, that's what I thought then. And that's what I think now. You know, the Stephen Rochford has, has had a very successful three years mm -hmm. involved with Mayo. Um, you know, the team played some of the best football, you know, again, in, in all Ireland finals, even last year, we think about it, they played very, very well. And so I, I just think, you know, he just needs a bit of space. You know, you don't want people shouting, I'm going for it or, or whatever it is. Let, let the process take, take, take its course. I'm manager of Westport um, and really enjoying that, working with a young bunch of guys, very keen, very ambitious and doing very, very well. And we have a huge game against Kilmaine, I don't know if it's at, at the weekend, where we can go top of the league and we're in the quarterfinals of the championship. And that's genuinely um, where I am. I have not thought or have contacted, or no one has contacted me, anything about Mayo position, and I genuinely haven't really thought of it. So where I am, where I am now, I'm just very happy um, with Westport and, and continuing on, on with that. Because I think you always did maybe have the intention of going back at some stage. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Mayo man that, that absolutely loves Mayo football and I'm, I'm a coach, I really love coaching guys that are ambitious and keen to do well so that's, that's what I love doing. So at some stage, of um, course I'd, I'd, I'd love to get involved again but is the time right for me, for the team, for the county board or whatever, I, I, I don't know if it is, there's so much stuff there so... Um, but it could be, you're, well, not, you're not ruling yourself out is my well, sense. Yeah, I where I am now, at the moment I, I would say for, for me personally, no, I have, so, I have so much going on at the moment, so, so that, that's where I'd be at, at the moment. But in the future, who knows what happens. Okay, I appreciate your, you know, it's, it's delicate to talk about a job where it's, you know, the king is dead, long live the cover king. most up there? How yeah, no, do? no, we got the full life story, we got everything, uh, okay. you have a game at the weekend. No, no, we're with you, we're with you, we're with you. I'm, I'm really <laughs> excited about Jim's answer, though. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Jim, what do you feel you could bring to the position that James couldn't? <laughs> I'm looking for a good number two. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know if, I don't know if Rory Geller is available, but you never know. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, I thought you were going to say Geezer. <laughs> oh dear, poor Rory. I'd say he opened the Irish Times fearing it for his life for a few years there. What are your thoughts? I mean, you were with Celtic for five years. No. You were in Beijing under a brilliant coach, Roger Schmidt, mm -hmm. up until January, and then China's a long way from home, so yeah. you've come home. Yeah. Are you interested in potentially getting back into GA, or is it still football, soccer? No, I'm not. No, not at the moment. Definitely not. Definitely uh, not. No. Um, I think for myself, like a, a, you know, it's it's been a long journey of development, if you like, in another sport. Um, like these two men beside me, I spent all my life practicing to try and be a, an intercounty footballer. Uh, I managed to achieve that, and it was the greatest honour you could have and, and play for your county. And, uh, and then to manage your county is, is the icing on the cake in many respects, you know. But I was sort of plucked from obscurity in many respects um, and uh, offered the opportunity to do something 
uh, that is a massive challenge, mm. if you like. It is a massive challenge, there's no doubt about that. Um, I've had great support uh, from Celtic the whole way along, from the owner the whole way through to the managers that I've worked under. Uh, and I continue to get that support and work still very closely with them. Um, and I'm on a journey, really. And uh, I've come back, finished my badges, uh, my A license. I'm looking now to, I'm in a position to take a team and I'm looking to do that now shortly. Okay. So that's where I'm at, really. Because if you went in and did the Mayo job for a year or two or three years, that would almost be an admission, like I'm, I'm giving up on the soccer journey, really. It'd be hard to go back in after another three years away, I would presume. Yeah, well, I mean, like, you know, I've dedicated six years to, to what I'm doing at the minute, you know, so it's, uh, I need to get the answer if I can do it or not, <laughs> if that makes sense, you know. Mm. And, um, and I'm, I'm excited, to be honest with you, because I've uh, recently got a lot closer in my mind to how I see the game, how the game will be coached, how the game will be trained. Um, when I started out in, in Gaelic, I started out with a blank piece of paper as a very young man uh, and built up what I felt was a, a way to develop a team and build a team and coach a team. I've done the same uh, in soccer and that document is complete now. I've spoken to a lot of high level coaches around the world that have kind of uh, stress tested it, if you like, and, right. and, and, and sort of had a good look at it and, and give me feedback on it. And, uh, and I feel now just that it's getting to that point where I'm looking forward to, to, to see can I make it happen, you know. So it needs to be professional sport. For me, it needs to be um, senior men um, to, to test myself because uh, there's, a, there's a difference, you know. There, there is a difference. 